Hello, my name is Aldrus Grainis, and today I would like to discuss uh, the topic of the integrated innovative training for master craftsmen and electrical engineering. At first sight, uh, this is really complex topic, but don't worry. After this uh, topic, really simple, but uh, I think not easily accessible idea or the goal is hidden. The idea of this topic is uh, to help, how to help uh, the young, uh, just graduated uh, young person uh, to learn how to apply their gained knowledge in higher education institutions in the field. So for the, in the beginning, I would like uh, to talk about the current situation in higher education institutions. Uh, at uh, the first and the second part of this uh, slide is showing uh, the, uh, the time uh, which young person spends in uh, higher education institutions so for theoretical to gain theoretical knowledges so it's lectures laboratory works uh, they are spending spending about 93 percent of uh, study time and uh, only seven percent of this time the young people are spending in companies by learning how to apply they gain knowledge in theory classes, yes. And uh, the third uh, part of the slide is uh, I want to show is showing the life after after uh, higher education when you when young uh, people are finishing their studies. Uh, they are highly motivated. Uh, the the ones uh, uh, go to work as fast as possible, and um, we asked uh, uh, we asked uh, our partners in the companies. Um, how much time does um, young person sp uh, is spending for to learn uh, how to apply the gained knowledge in, in the higher education institutions um, the numbers what they told us is uh, about 60 or 70 percent in first month or uh, first uh, half of the year, um, it depends on the motivation and uh, the ability uh, to learn of the person. Uh, but it's really uh, uh, eventually, of course, this number will decrease and um, uh, the young persons will learn uh, the practical things, how to apply the knowledge gained in universities and uh, in the field. Um, but this number uh, uh, from this number we, we, we took the goal how to decrease this number and to help these young students, these young uh, people come into the work with already, uh, with already uh, practical knowledge or knowledge how to apply theoretical knowledge in the field. Um, for this, uh, we designed and um, we started uh, designing and implementing a dual bachelor degree study course with integral attainment of bachelor's and master's degree. Uh, 
really complex uh, complex topic uh, uh, but uh, the idea of this uh, of this uh, topic is to to have the knowledge of the bachelor bachelor degrees degree and um, theoretical knowledge what the bachelor degree st students are having and uh, to have really big part of the practical knowledge or the practice or the knowledge how to apply this this theoretical knowledge in the field in the companies or uh, for their own companies uh, with this slide i want to present uh, the difference differences of uh, electrical engineering bachelor degree study program with electrical engineering uh, bachelor and master's study program at the left you you can see uh, that uh, whole study program uh, the bachelor's degree study program consists of uh, 93 uh, percent of time spent uh, in universities and uh, only seven percent of uh, the time the students are spending in the companies uh, on the right side what we try to do uh, and um, it's the main goal uh, to make these numbers equal half of the uh, time the students will spend in uh, universities gaining the knowledge theoretical knowledge also practical knowledge in laboratories and uh, half of the time of their study time uh, they will spend in uh, companies by applying these knowledges and uh, learning <clears throat> the practical things or let's say know-how uh, at the beginning uh, uh, of uh, the design of this uh, study program, uh, we have three. We had three options uh, uh, or imagination how the uh, study program uh, should look. Uh, first option uh, it was that uh, in each year of the study, the student. Uh, it takes one month to attend a higher school or higher education institution, uh, institution's theoretical courses. And in the next month, uh, he will spend in the company by carrying out practices or to applying this theoretical knowledge in practice. <coughs> the, the second option was uh, that uh, in each year of the studies, uh, student half of the semester will spend at the higher school by attending relevant theoretical courses and the other half of the semester in the company by carrying out practices. Uh, the third option, um, uh, in each year of the study, the student passes the autumn semester in higher school or higher education institution while listening to the theoretical courses uh, of corresponding speciality. And uh, in the spring semester, the student will, will, will spend their time in company by carrying out practices or applying this uh, gained knowledge. Uh, the next slide uh, shows uh, graphical representation of this uh, three choices three options of this study program and uh, uh, in order to decide or, or to know uh, what is the best for the students and for the companies we ask the companies what uh, do they think about um, these three options 
we did small survey and we asked uh, uh, the companies uh, to choose which one uh, uh, which option study program option is the best for them uh, 60 percent of uh, companies said that uh, uh, they will would choose the uh, the second option of the study program it, it means uh, uh, two months uh, students are spending in uh, university, two months in uh, company, again two months in university, and then again two months in company. 38% uh, of companies said that um, uh, the best choice for them would be half of the semester, half of the semester, uh, students will spend in uh, in uh, university and another uh, half of the semester in companies and only two percent of um, companies said that uh, the best choice for them is uh, that each month uh, student will go to, to the company and uh, another uh, month to the university and so on and so on uh the first option was uh, eliminated in the the first uh, stage that um, we and the companies thought that uh, this uh, model is too intense for the students and also for the companies as the companies uh, becomes a uh, becomes as a par partners of the uh, education institution as the as the students uh, should spend half of their study time in the in the company and uh, also for the students it's really really intense to change working space and uh, education space so often so we kept uh, with uh, 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 second and third uh, option and in the end we chose a different one as uh, the study pro as it was uh, difficult to implement um, in, implement the idea of the 50 50 percent of the uh, education of the com uh, time in company and in the education institution uh, and uh, we chose uh, the third option as uh, the the companies also agreed that this is not the, the worst scenario uh, it's uh, it's quite good for them also uh, and uh, uh, we and the structure of the design study program uh, this uh, this slide shows the practice the fifty percent uh, time that they are, that the students are spending in uh, companies. So sixty two percent they are they are taking cognitive practice. Uh, Twenty five percent of the time they will get organizational practice and. Um, uh 12 percent uh, productive practice um it should be mentioned that uh, the study program is designed in such way that the practice topics are focused on the previous semester study subjects it's um uh, uh the students uh first uh uh semester they are learning new things and after that they are applying these things into uh, in the pro or, or in in uh, companies and um, the study program is designed so that the companies uh, uh sometimes changing sometimes not but uh, 
they are giving the topics or the goals for the students in the in that uh, time uh, according to the previous semester study subjects <coughs> sorry uh, and the structure of the study program the theoretical part of the of the study program we can see that 50 percent uh, is uh, uh, speciality yes uh, speciality courses uh, we can say more than 50 percent if, if we take informatics uh, and uh, about uh, 38 percent is non-speciality study subjects um, the companies um, uh, are looking for interdisciplinary staff they want that uh, the students will know law management economics and other things uh, of course this study program is designed so that uh, uh, the students, uh, like the students uh, are learning electrical engineering uh, um, study courses, uh, for example, the law corresponds uh, to their study program. Uh, so, <coughs> of course, we asked uh, the students. Uh, uh, the question if they want uh, more practices in their study courses, their study programs, and 100% uh, of asked students said yes, so we would like more of the practices. Uh, and uh, for the end, uh, I have two slides prepared for the lifetime learning and I uh, wish for all of wish that uh, we don't stop learning and uh, uh, I'm coming back uh, to the last uh, to the first slide what I showed you and uh, this uh, especially for the third part of this slide uh, or for the work based learning time, uh, even if the goal of uh, that uh, study program or, or goal of this uh, topic is to decrease and uh, to help young persons to gain, to, to learn, help to learn how to apply their knowledge in the field. But uh, I wish that uh, this number never goes to zero because uh, new things uh, opens new doors and uh, new things means new possibilities. So I wish, I wish that you never stop learning and um, thank you for your attention.